Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a great Salesforce journey, enjoying every single day that you work on it. I certainly am and hope the same for you. So I'd like to tell you about some ways you can increase your Salesforce productivity and improve your Salesforce experience. And how can you do that? How can you increase your Salesforce productivity and improve your Salesforce browsing experience? This is a question I've been thinking about for the past month. Best way to do it, I believe, is through Google Chrome extensions. There are six Google Chrome extensions that are identified and would like to share them with you right now. Before we get started, if you've been liking my videos, if you want me to make more videos, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and leave any comments leave any feedback i would love to hear from you now let's get started let's look at these awesome six google chrome extensions that will enhance your salesforce productivity and improve your browsing experience the first one i'll start with is called cinebo this is the extension i use every single day many many times because this is the extension that stores all my salesforce logins the beautiful thing about this extension is that it's totally free. It doesn't limit the number of extensions you can store in it. There are a lot of other similar credential management extensions, but they ask you to pay if you want to store beyond certain number, like beyond 10 credentials. So here it is my Cinebo extension. I store all my orgs here. I just click plus indicate whether it's a production sandbox developer give it a title using password sometimes i save my security token sometimes org id and click save once i click save they show up like this i can categorize them or I, they can be in under general so and i can open the orgs just by clicking this or opening it in incognito mode i highly recommend this extension I recommend it to my colleagues, they love it as well. The second extension that I like to recommend is Salesforce Hotkeys. Although it's in beta, I'm really liking it because it allows you to use hotkeys, shortcuts for Salesforce. I'd like to show you how you can make use of this extension. So let's open certain account. First, let me open some org. Here's a test account. If I want to edit this record, I have to click edit, right? And then once I'm done, click save. It's one click for each, but it takes some mouse movement. It's possible to achieve the same effect with shortcuts. All I have to do is click control E and look, I'm on the edit page. Once I'm done, I click control S and it's saving. Beautiful, right? Once again, control E and let's say I don't want to save. I want to cancel. Then I click control Q. Bam. It's amazing, right? This is just the tip of the iceberg of what shortcuts there are. There are many more. I just click the H button and here they are. Edit record, save record, cancel, create new task, create new account, control shift A. So check this control shift a i click test to video and then i click control s okay there's some required fields control s boom very nice right i love it go to certain tabs control alt a or control alt c for contacts let's do it control alt c i'm on the contacts object beautiful right control alt a and you can just explore more right the one drawback of the shortcuts is that they only work in classic if i go to lightning they stop working all right let's jump to the next one my next favorite extension is salesforce enhanced code searcher as the name suggests it's a very good code searching tool 
let's open certain org let's go to setup all right so here is the tool here i can search for apex classes triggers visual force pages custom objects etc typically if you want to search for a specific apex class if you want to open a certain apex class you have to click classes open that then browse towards that letter etc right it's a bit tedious what this extension helps you is from right here you just choose apex classes then say you put the name of the class and bam you open it up it's very convenient same with triggers so here it tells you that you have 49 triggers and let's say you put in the first few letters and then it suggests you it's as you can see this extension is very good for quickly opening up apex classes triggers objects etc i'll use this a lot and highly recommend you do the same it'll save you a lot a lot of clicks so that was salesforce enhanced code searcher let's jump to the next one this one is called stylish and it has certain styles for salesforce i make use of their two styles and i'd like to show you why i like them here's the stylish button it shows me that for salesforce i've adopted this style for this page if i make it active you notice the difference the top part is squished is more compact i like this because that's white space it's space i can use instead for looking at the records less upward downward movement the second style i use is on the developer console right here you notice my developer console anything you like about it see the background is dark right i like dark mode because it's more pleasant for the eye it makes it viewing the code more easy let me open another class see it's very very convenient for viewing code and here when i click on it you can see that this style is called salesforce force.com for developer console if i make it inactive so that was the stylish extension let's jump to the next one it's called salesforce api field names what i like about this extension is that it shows you the api names for the fields on a record let's open certain record So these are the field labels but let's say i want to see the api names behind those labels this is very important when the labels and the api names differ significantly so instead of going into the view fields and browsing it like this all i can do is just click on this button bam I see the, all the API names. Just one click, the API names show up. One click, I turn off the API names. Beautiful, very convenient. All right, so that was Salesforce API field names. I see that a lot of people like it. Apparently, there are over 35,000 users. Thank you, Daniel Nakov. Okay, next one is called Salesforce Inspector. It's kind of similar to the previous extension I showed you, but much, much more powerful. Okay, let's say I'm on this record. Here's the Salesforce Inspector. And it has its own little tab. If I click on it, it shows me that this record is on this object. And it gives me the ID for the record. And if I click on this, show field metadata, I can go through the fields and see its properties for example it's telling me that the name of the field is for act seed underscore cache underscore application underscore adjustment underscore mount underscore c and apparently it's a currency field with 18 number fields and two decimal fields and etc so a lot of a lot of detail here and this i see is a formula field where it's taking the total minus the received amount 
minus cash application adjustment amount etc all right and then i can also do show all data and look what happens so i'm looking at this record and on this record i see the api name for a field the label and the type of field it is this is a lookup field and the value this field holds now for accounting here it's a string and here's the value and here are all the fields for the record and then here are the related list item we see which related lists are populated and at the top we can see the fields or we can see the relationships and if you like the information we see you can click export we can export this into an excel file okay let's go back i can also click view i go back to the record view i can also click edit layout and that's it so let's just go back we're back at the record sometimes it's difficult to open this little tab what we can do is control alt i it opens up okay very convenient control alt i bam okay that was salesforce inspector that was google chrome extension number six just to reiterate here are the six google chrome extensions first one is the credential manager by cinebo it's free unlimited number of credentials you can store the second one is the hotkeys you can edit records save records uh, cancel records you can move to a certain tab third one is salesforce enhanced code searcher it's basically just from the setup page you can directly open classes triggers custom objects the fourth one is stylish it helps you make developer consoles background dark much more pleasant experience the fifth one is api names salesforce api field names it allows you to see the api names for all the fields on the record and the last one is salesforce inspector this is the one that i just showed you it's kind of similar to the previous one but much much more which of these google chrome extensions did you like choose the one you like the most and go ahead right now find it on the chrome store install it and make use of it if there is anything i like you to take away from this video is you have to explore you have to try new things and that's the only way you can increase your productivity thank you so much